So here's the thing. Population is not tied to economics. That's nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. Japan is one of the smallest populations of a civilized functioning countries on the planet. And they are an economic powerhouse. It's a matter of will, industry, resources, and good organization. The key word is functioning. Functioning. If you're not, you're if, if you're a country that doesn't function, it's a failed state and it's a fuck all fest. Yeah, there was one that used to be called Rhodesia that's now called Zimbabwe. Yes. Where in Zimbabwe, the leaders are now calling for all of the white farmers that they drove off to please come back. To feed everyone. We stole all of your farms, but we forgot one important part. We do not uh, know how farm. to farm. Not how to farm. It's a problem. Yeah, I know. They divvied up the land, gave it to individual people who are like, I don't know what to do here. Same thing is happening. Exact Correct. same thing is happening in South Africa right now. Yep. And it is about to start happening in the United States. These foreign entities that are buying up U.S. farmland, do you think that's to give it back to white U.S. farmers? That's or even to, even to return it to U.S. citizens. Yeah. More than likely, they're going to try to hold on to that shit forever. And we need to, we as a collective i.e. the voting people of this country need to get together and pass laws to stop that shit from happening and basically take back that land. We, we should not allow all of these foreign corporations and people to own our, our, our sovereign soil. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm an Americanist. I love America. Yep. Right. I will do whatever it takes to make sure this country stays, you know, at the top of the pecking order and everything is good to go. Because I, all of those oaths I took, none of them expired, and you're the same way. That's why you're here. That's pretty much exactly yeah. correct. Um, again, population numbers are not tied to economy. As a matter of fact, the population they're flooding this with right now has no function in an economy. They don't have any skills, these people that are coming in. Correct. Except maybe clubbing you to death with a rock and taking your stuff. Oh, yes. That's about the height of their skills. They, they might what, be able to push shopping carts. Brown shirt activities? Brown shirt activities. Yes, yeah, they're, they're good for brown shirt activities. Yeah. Or uh, the uh, what was the name of the uh, the early ones that the Bolsheviks had? Useful idiots. There was uh, cannon fodder. The uh, extra. I forget. Extra Stalin, anus for the pumping. There you go. Stalin had his own secret police. But the important point is this. There was a Russian author who escaped the Bolshevik revolution. And he wrote, it would have been different. If instead of cowering behind our doors in beds waiting for Stalin's men to come take us, we had been down in the foyer of our houses, waiting six to ten of us waiting with clubs and sticks and knives. Yeah. They would have stopped very quickly as they lost agent after agent after yeah. agent. There's a reason why they want to take away our guns. Just There's a reason they want to take away our guns. Th th because you know, if a government wants to do things that are going to wind up, uh, you know, being a shooty situation, well, they are the ones that want to have the guns and the other side doesn't. Every single time they take away the guns from a population, it's always followed by a genocide. Every single time. Every time. Every single time. So... Population is not tied to immigration. Uh, or, I'm sorry, population is not tied to economics. So what's with the immigration surge? Are we looking at, I don't know where we are on the stream yard here. We do have the map up. Okay. Yeah. This map of the United States, you can see all of the areas that are dark in color. That is population density. Now, all of these immigrants that are flooding into the nations, and there's like 30 million of these people, okay? Yeah. You need to understand there's 40 large cities, 40 large American cities worth of illegal immigrants that have come into this country, and they're all heading for these dark areas. And you've got a government right now that's pushing for, they say it over and over again, democracy, democracy, democracy. They want to get rid of the electoral college, which means that Montana votes count the same as california votes they don't like that well no no here's the thing with the, the electoral college if you get rid of the electoral college this country will be run by the east and the west coast all of the states in between will be told to go fuck off and it'll be utter cha chaos that's that's why i'm pointing at the map i know I, i'm not saying you're wrong i'm just i'm just wording it differently that's fine that's why i brought this map up specifically 
is because this is where, and if you look, you can see this is where the, the vast majority of these immigrants are going to these areas. What it's going to do is create a crushing amount of votes. And if they can get those illegal immigrants to vote in each of these states to say that, yes, we want to get rid of the Electoral College, now you've got a democracy and the East Coast and the West Coast, L.A., Seattle, Atlanta, Chicago, and New York control your elections. Yeah. You that, will that, never have a say in anything ever. Yeah, that's that's not going to end well. I'm just telling that's you right now. It's what, that's what's happening. Yes, I know. And listen, if I have my way, in every single state, each county will have their own electoral vote for a governor. That's meaning, how it should be. Yeah, meaning that these Democrats who get away with their, uh, you know, prestidigitation of their stanky fucking uh, downstairs swamp ass, yeah, fool these big cities, and they control the state. Well, guess what? If you put the electoral college per county per state, they have to fool a majority of the counties to get what they want. That means they'll have to come up with actual programs and actual stuff that works, things that are, you know, physically possible and economically feasible instead of the the bullshit the Democrats are are selling you now is vote for us we'll give you free shit. They've never given you free shit. They've never improved anything in these that blue hell holes. That is correct. I'm seeing more and more chatter in the black community as well of some blacks coming to their senses and saying, we've been had. Yeah. They've promised us all this stuff all of this time. There's another factor that I'm going to bring up that's going to get the istophobic reaction, but huh. I don't care because I have multiple examples. Okay. The whole notion of dual loyalty and dual passports. That has to go. Yeah. That has to go. The most obvious one, of course, is you got a lot of senators who also have Israeli passports. That needs to stop. You have a dual loyalty. I don't care what you say. You have a dual loyalty, period. But then you've got uh was it Ilan Omar, the the Somali? I don't I don't know her. There, there's a Somali yep. in, in Minnesota. That's yeah. Ilan Omar, the one yep, who's married to her brother. Gets on a microphone in front of a caucus the other day of Somalis in Minnesota and says we Somalis now tell Minnesota what to do. Somalis run this state now. This is a Somali state now. And she's on the microphone saying this stuff. There's her on a microphone saying this. This isn't me making stuff up, pulling it out of my backside. Yep. You've got people like Rashida Talib, who is known for rallying for the Palestinians and doing everything she can to make Congress do stuff for Palestine. There's a couple of others in there. I can't remember all of their names off the top of my head. But this circus, this zoo, where we allow these people in from other countries to take our offices is is madness. It's late stage, and I'm talking like the year 461 AD. Of the Roman Empire? Roman Empire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, I've been uh, – I was never a fan of history while I was in high school. I just curious my thing. Yeah, until I uh, discovered the History Channel. And we, like what we're seeing the same patterns repeated over and over again. Yes. Like literally, we're repeating the nineteen fucking hundreds again. Except now we have nuclear warheads. Yeah, exactly. And, and the, there's more of us. And the internet. And there's more of us. This sort of stuff repeats every single time. Yes. Every single time. Um. It's just insane. But anyway, that's where all of the immigrants are going. This has nothing to do with economics. Economics is the lie they're selling. And the way they're doing that is crashing the economy. So they can look at you and say, look, look at the price of eggs. You need Congolese farmers to raise chickens so your eggs can be cheap again. Mm -hmm. You know, you need some dairy farmers from Senegal to take care of your cows so you can have cheap milk again. And ne never mind the fact that we're having a bunch of what, food food plants and processing plants just burn up. And they're deliberately sandbagging the, the petroleum industry. Correct. And California now no longer allows diesel trucks. Okay, good luck with that. Oh, my God. Uh, that's, that's making things great. One of my favorites was actually in another country, Wales. <laughs> One of the prime ministers of Wales issued a dictum that the speed limit in Wales is now 20 miles per hour. All right. The Welsh basically just went, <laughs> we're not doing that. We're, we're not doing that. Nice. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. 
And if you want to join Pop for support or Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.